I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five authenticator alternatives. Google Authenticator was one of the first apps you could install on a phone to generate second factors to help keep accounts secure. It works on more than just Google accounts, but it also suffers from being run by Google, which often is slow to update features. So here are five alternatives to Google Authenticator that work with Android and iOS. Number one, Duo Mobile. This app from Cisco offers a feature called Duo Push. If a site works with it, the app can prompt you to tap to authenticate a login instead of having to enter a code. And to stop people from accessing your account without approval, you can deny requests and even mark the denied attempt as fraud. Coming in at number two, Microsoft Authenticator. It's essentially the same as Google's, but run by Microsoft, and has a slightly more pleasing layout. It also lets you log into Microsoft accounts like OneDrive and Outlook with just a tap. Up to number three, LastPass Authenticator. Now this one works well even if you don't use LastPass to manage your passwords. It also offers push notification verification with several big names participating, like Amazon, Dropbox, Facebook, and more. And it supports SMS and QR codes. Sliding in at number four, Authy. It has a decent layout, and its big advantage is that it can store your codes in the cloud, encrypted by password or biometrics. That way, if you lose your phone, you don't lose your second factor. It also makes it easy to install on multiple devices, and it can generate codes for you to use offline. At number five, Yubico. This one doesn't generate codes, it's an actual physical key. Now the downside to these used to be you had to have a USB port on the device you were logging in on, but these days it supports NFC and Bluetooth as well. Whichever method you use, even if you stick with Google Authenticator, it's good to have those multi-factors in a good place, at least until that passwordless future finally arrives. And if you do end up using Authy, check out Mary Manzi's article, How to Back Up Your Authy App, at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.